Hey boys and girls, it's Miss Livingston here, first grade teacher at Hidden Valley, and today we are going to do our skills lesson. Now this day, you guys normally know that you have a decodable that you get to use in hand to read. However, since we're doing work from home and using the computers, I'm going to be reading the text to you. So today's text is called Looking for Mars. Now, I am going to read my engagement text, which is the longer version of the book, while you listen, and you also look through the pictures of the book. Looking for Mars. James looks out the window, and what does he see? It is the moon. Look, it is smiling at me, says James. That gives James an idea. James grabs Pat by the hand and says, Pat, you are in for a treat. It is dark. It is not storming tonight, so the sky is clear. It is time to see Mars. Pat claps her hands and says, let's go. James, oh, Pat and James start to walk to the park, but it is not warm, so they go back and grab a scarf for Pat. James puts on Granddad's hat, and it is way too big on him. That makes Pat giggle as they walk down the street. It is a short walk to the park, says James, but it is a long way to the stars. When they get to the park, they look up in the dark. There are so many stars, says James. There's the North Star, but it is hard for Pat to see the star. Mars is so far away. Look for the red, just look very hard, says James but it is still hard for Pat to see. She does not see Mars. She does not see the North Star. James and Pat go to the yard in the park. Go to the yard in the park away from the street lights. We can see more stars here in the dark, says James. Pat stands on a log to make herself tall. This is better, says James. Then Pat grabs his arm. Mars, says Pat. I knew you could see it, says James. I go to bed with stars, asks Pat. No, we can't sleep out here tonight, Pat. That would not be safe. And it would be too cold. But we will do it again, says James. Pat waves her little hand. Pat waves her little hand into the dark. Bye, stars. Bye, Mars. As Pat and James leave the park, Pat takes his arm. I have fun looking at Mars for a while. The moon follows them home, still wearing a smile. Thank you for listening to the engagement text. Before we get to go through and read your decodable, we are going to learn some important sight words that can be found in the text today. So first, I'm gonna read the word. We're going to talk about what it looks like, and then I'm going to be reading the word in a sentence. So the first word is again. Please say again out loud. Now, again does not play fair, does it, boys and girls? Because this word actually makes a different sound at the beginning. The A sound we know normally says a or a, but in this case, we hear a. Uh. So that part doesn't play fair. We also have learned that AI can say the A sound on occasion. Do we hear A in again? We do not, boys and girls. So this is why this is a sight word that you must memorize. Here is my example in a sentence. I can't wait to see you again. Like I can't wait to see you another time. We're gonna go to the next word. Here is again. The next word is bye. Please say bye. Now, there are a couple different versions of this word, but in this case, this is like you're saying goodbye, you'll see you later. Bye does not play fair, because as you can see at the end of this word, there is a Y-E, and that does not typically make that I sound that we know. Here is my example sentence. I had to say bye to my friend. I'll see you later. The next sight word we're going to review today is could. Please say could. Could does not play fair, boys and girls. We know that OU often says 
O or OW. No, OW, O W says O or OW. O U says OW a lot of the time. However, this word does not have the OW sound. It is the word hood. So we know it does not play fair. We must remember it. The sentence says, oops, what could it possibly be about? The next sight word is would. Please say would. Would and could rhyme, and just like could, would does not play fair because of that OU not saying OW. Here's my sentence. Where would you like to go for dinner? You can use it in a question, an answer, kind of asking where would you like, would you like this for dinner? The next sight word is does. Please say does. Does is a form of the word do. It does not play fair because we don't ever see O-E making the uh sound. So we have to memorize it in our brain. It is a sight word. My sentence example, oops, I keep doing that. What does that word mean? What does that word mean? The next sight word is new. Please say new. Now, while this word does not play fair, there are two chunks we have learned. K-N, we know, says N, and E-W, we know, says U. So N, U, new. We can stretch that word out if we need to, or we can remember that this word is new. Not like brand new clothes, but using your brain. I knew it. It comes from the word no. And the next sight word is just. Please say just. Just does play fair. You can stretch it out. Just, just. Example, I just need one more chance. And the last sight word is or. Or is not a fair word, but we know the chunk or says or because we've learned it. So we know, and my example is, do you want the red hat or the blue hat? So let's flip back through. Please repeat after me. Again, by, could, would, does, new, just, or. Thank you for listening, boys and girls. Now, we are going to go back through our text. And we are going to search. We're going to be detectives and search for these words that we learned. So let's try to remember. It is dark. There is no storm. It is time to see Mars. Pat and James start to go to the park. But it is not warm, so they get a scarf. For Pat. But it is a short way to the park, but it is a long way to the stars. There are so many stars, says Pat, or says James. There is the North Star. It is hard for Pat to see. Mars is so far. Look for the red. Just look very hard, says James. It is still hard for Pat to see. She does, oh, there we go. She does not see Mars or the North Star. James and Pat go to the yard in the park. We can see more stars in the dark, says James. Then Pat grabs his arm. Mars, says Pat. I knew you could see it. I knew you could see it. Two words. I go to bed with stars, asked Pat. No, that would not be safe, but we will do it again, says James with a smile. Would not be safe, but we will do it again, says James with a smile. I did it, Pat says. Bye, stars. Bye, Mars, says Pat. Bye and bye. 
Awesome. So we found most of the words. We might have missed a couple as we were going super fast. But if you think we missed any, you could go back for yourself. Oh, there's where there's or we missed. And see if we missed any and drop it in the comments below. Let us know what words we missed. So thank you so much for listening to both the decodable and the sight words. Your job now is to go back through this video, go back through this video and pause at each page and practice reading the text, practice reading those sight words. Remember today we read looking for Mars and we looked at some new sight words. Go ahead and practice rereading this text and I'll see you next time. Thanks boys and girls.